What is up guys? Welcome back to part 5 of my God of War Platinum walkthrough. We've gone through the full Platinum here, getting every trophy along the way. In an optimal format, I'm walking through all the collectibles, everything in, like I say, an optimal manner. So, backtracking will be kept for to a minimum. And because of, we're doing everything efficiently, this should keep the difficulty at a minimum as well, because you're not going to be under leveled or under geared for certain parts but we're on easy anyway so all that's going to be difficult is the valkyrie battles nearer the end but hopefully i can keep that nice and simple as well okay so yeah part five inside the mountain we just dispelled the black mist we just climbed up that wall to dispel some more black mist yeah so we're going in the mountain and we're basically we're, we're climbing up the mountain from the inside yeah, Kratos does, he does things the hard way. He wants to climb a mountain from the outside where he can go inside and climb it and get some treasure along the way. And lots of um, dialogue from your son, which we always love to hear. Yeah, so once you get inside the cave, you get his first two enemies to begin with on the left. Take him out. And then just above them, is a um, a bucket we can knock down, a bucket with some hag silver inside. They're hiding it from us, but nothing can escape my exploration skills. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. And afterwards, shoot that blue crystal down and um, bring it over here. Place it in the slot. Have a trace. Shoot it. Good gill boy. Good gill boy. No, just a good gill. And then have him interact with it. You need to pull this lever back first, so shoot, place it in the slot, shoot it, have Kratos pull the lever back, and then the square prompt should appear, and he should be able to um, decipher it now, and translate whatever it says. Yeah, that epic looking deer statue in the background, statue of the deer god, Kratos' father. Yes, I am the son of a deer. The deer hunter. There's a crystal in that torch hole. Should I light it? Guess yes, boy. Yeah, you can. You don't have to light all the crystals. It just depends. Why do you laugh? A lot of them along here, I'm leaving them because all they do, they illuminate your way. And I can see pretty well in the dark because I have a torch in front of me. Illuminating from, I think it, I think this light comes from the bifrost, don't it? Attached to my um. Uh, left nipple, I think. Uh, but carry on here, go left, and um, shoot that light, the crystal if you want a bit more light. And in this coffin you've got some more armour, we've got a scaled braces of focus. Always equip any better armour that you find until we find the armour we're going to use for our sort of main build for the rest of the game. Yeah, until we come across a piece and um, I say something stupid like, hey guys, Make sure you equip this because we're going to be using this for the rest of the guys. Yeah, until that moment comes, uh, just equip anything strong that you come across. That coffin is before you lift that broken pillar. So if you lift the broken pillar, you've gone too far. And I guess also if you've encountered these enemies, the raven and the two watchers. Not the raven, the, um, the witch, can't believe the name now. Um, but just down there, did you see it? The raven was down there. Yeah, I meant raven enemy, I mean the bird raven. The bird raven was down there where the bridge is broken. So make sure you get that. And up here is three buckets. Each limb will have... These have quite a lot of hack silver inside. You will find the further you get into the game, the more hack silver you get from pickups. Yeah, it's not, not a coincidence. It is a fact. When you get further into the game, you'll start getting more and more hack silver from pickups. So once you climbed up there, get rid of these enemies first in the sort of immediate vicinity. There'd be a few here and if you run around the corner, you can normally find a few more, which are hiding and waiting for you to, um, wait till you're about ready to leave before they ambush you. But we're gonna get rid of them all now. That's it, send the wolves after them. That's it, Atreus, you poke his ice out. Don't think they have any actually. 
Yeah, then um, back here and smash that um, that wood to reveal a crystal. Shoot it and that seal just above, hit it the same amount of times that I did. Was it two or three times? Um, just until you see the R. I did hit it on the side, just hit it on the side on the left until you see the R. And then pick up the crystal and bring it all the way along here. Yeah, you've got to drag it all the way along here. I don't know why he struggles so much carrying these. They must be heavier than they look. Because he's he's alright carrying a massive birch tree around. But um yeah when it comes to a little tiny crystal he can't run. Yeah, place it in here and after the battle we're gonna press square to have Atreus read that law marker. But normally once you get to the end of the bridge bridge these enemies trigger triggers these enemies to spawn. So we just take out these first. And then we're going to head back, excuse me, head back and um, make sure he's examined that law marker. You see that seal up above? Hit the left side of it twice until it shows that marker. And then come across here and open the Norna, ses, Norna chest. You may have noticed we only hit two seal two seal things. It's because one of them is already set at the correct seal the correct seal marker that's why we only threw our axe at two of them because one of them's already set right assuming you didn't hit the other one so i have to try to shoot that for a bit of light and break this wood here and in here you'll find the artifact guys just by this knight he tried he thought he'd take it to his grave right. but we Another found it crystal. you have your boy shoot that blue crystal down below then once you shot that, you can come down. This level we're on now, this is where the other seal is. It's an but it's always it's already set what you need it as is an N. Yes. It's, it's on this level that we're on now. But it's already set. Yeah, loot that coffin. There it is, a seal just on the left. Blink and you miss it, sort of thing. And we've done everything we need to in this area now. So we're just gonna progress just a little bit on. I'm going to get over to this crawl space. You want to make sure you've done all that before you enter the crawl space, guys. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. Yeah, if you're having trouble keeping up with me and what I'm uh, talking about uh, when I'm mentioning collect this, collect that, do this, just remember oh, my text see. guide is linked well, they look in that little bad. box underneath nice. the video where there's some right. writing. Yeah, it's linked in there. The just open it. Click on it and it'll open another tab and in that tab will be my guide with a bit of text on it and a few pictures and a few maps and a lot of white colouring around it. Yeah, you'll find my text guide in there and that will explain everything to you. Uh, once you get in here, have the boy read it. Yeah, press square to that room read on the back of the deer statue and then loot the small chest. Come in here. And loot this, um, I, do not know. I think, it, yeah, loot that item in there. I think it's a scroll, actually. Yeah, that's a scroll in there. Make sure you loot that, guys. You see, I've got it, new scroll added. You just saw it on the right there. Come through here, kill a few enemies. Yeah, I like to throw my axe at them. I like to see if they can catch my axe, but no one's caught it yet. But I'm hoping one of the enemies will surprise me. Yeah, you go through this crawl space before you... This is before you climb up the wall. Come through this crawl space just to the right of it. Um, on the wall along the right, anyway. And you find another coffin in here. And then back through the crawl space and climb up the wall. Place one hand over the other hand. And then jump. And then place one hand, another hand. Your foot, your left foot, your right foot. And jump. Climb. Left hand, right hand. And you s did you see that rune there, guys? There was some text on the wall. Make sure you examine that text. That is classed as a rune read. 
So make sure you examine that. Once you climb up, turn around and um, look, but tilt your head upwards so you can see what's above you and you see a bucket hanging, knock it down and you find some hack shelf inside. Behind these crates is a chain, slide down it, just be careful because it's quite, it's quite rough on your hands when you try to slide down the chain, so be careful. There's a small chest there, loot the small chest and then climb back up the chain with only your hands because we're hard and we can. Come back up the slope and there'll be a little lever to open the gate. There we go. Look at this big area. We're in the heart of the mountain. Hence the name. Mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our We're in the mountain. The heart. Before when we started we're in its butt, now we're in its heart. Yeah, behind here it's a small chest. Then sprint over here to this broken square thing in the middle. I'm not sure what is supposed to be broken. There's a room reader on the back. I think it's a, um, a cargo thing. Ish. <laughs> I don't know. And in there is some hack silver. Yeah, make sure you get a room read on the back of that. I think that's one of the, um, the platforms that it lifts the cargo onto. I don't know. I'm not um, all clued up with <laughs> Kratos Adventures. And the law of this world. Yeah, through that little crawl space, uh, sorry, squeeze space, the shimmy space, is a coffin inside. Go inside and loot it, and then send the boy in first. Always send the boy first. If you don't know what's up ahead, always send the boy. He's a cannon fodder. Then once you've done all that looting, I'm going to come over to this wheel, and we're going to pull it down with one hand. Okay, let's try this have a go. Ah, fail. Yeah, after that, you see the enemy spawn up ahead, and then just let the wheel go, and um, go and fight the enemies. Don't even give them a chance to attack after seeing you, just destroy him, quick. Or maybe not. Yeah, try as we'll send the dogs after them. Send a dog to do a man's job. Sorry, a boy's job. So you get rid of him. Here, catch this, mate. Here, mate, catch. Here. Boop. Oh. <laughs> Think fast. Yeah, basically go through the little entrance which the enemies made for you. And you should thank them. You probably regret killing them now because they did make the path for you. To progress without them enemies making that path for you. You would have been the story would have been blocked, so probably should have kept them alive, really. Yeah. So once you reach here, you find Brock's shop, and what we're going to do in here, we're going to sell all our artifacts. We're going to unhighlight everything, and we're also going to upgrade the talon bow as much as we can. We're not going to touch nothing else. And over here is a raven. Quite awkward to hit this one. There's some hack silver as well by this corpse. Yeah, quite awkward to hit this raven. The way I the way I do it is um, I just wait for the raven to be flying, and then I just aim, and then I press a button to throw my axe. That's how I do it. Normally works. Afterwards, come back here, climb up near Brock, and we're gonna kick all this um, broken destructibles with a capacity set to fifty percent. We're gonna push them out of the way, and then once we're out of the crawl space. We're going to destroy the small chest and then come down the hill a bit before we drop down. Loot this coffin. Oh, I'm going to find some soft steel. Doesn't sound very good in uh, <laughs> fabricating anything. It's steel, which is soft, but it's supposed to be hard. So, um, but I'm sure we'll put it to good use. Yeah, so um, we just lobbed our axe at that um, little lever to. Um, Move the spikes so we can get past. And then once you reach here, get rid of the enemies first. And then we do a bit of looting before pushing that big cargo, well, that big sort of minecart thingy. Cargo container. Push it, that's it, get rid of the enemies and come around the back here and you find all these goodies. This is a lizard that 
dies. If you're quick enough when you first come in, you may have seen a lizard quickly burrow into the ground. For some reason, he dies there and drops all that gear. Yeah, so push it a little bit to reveal the weak point, the chain holding it in place. And then let go and lob your axe at it. You could just unhook it, I guess. Safe destroying anything then, but um, it feels better when you destroy it with a throw by your axe. So after pushing it, this was behind where the container was. Hit the uh, scribbled part and then lob that and um, behind there, you'll find an artifact guys, bottoms up, two out of six. Yeah, so grab that and then climb up the container to reach up here. Knock down the bridge by lobbing your axe at the weak points on the chains to um, let it fall down. Then we're going to come over here, kick the chain down. Well, we'll get rid of the enemies first. Why not? They're only going to fucking stab me in the back while I'm knocking the chain down. They'll probably do to me what a tray is just to them. Jump on my back and poke my eyes out. Yeah, not a chain down and then head back over the bridge and we're going to drop down a little hole here. Don't worry, it's not an abyss, there's a coffin down here. There we go, some more soft steel. Then open the door and then we can climb up that chain we just kicked down to get back up. And there'll be another raven, a green birdie over there. You see it, the green bird? You see that from miles away. Probably one of the easiest <laughs> probably one of the easiest ones to see. Not this bridge down, there's a bucket just past it, suspended in the air by a chain. There'll be an enemy or two in here. Put them out there, misery. And then you can climb up the ledge. Leave it alone. Yeah, climb up the ledge here and you'll find a coffin at the top. With some more armor inside. Scaled waist guards. I always want a scaled set of waist guards. And then we're going to come in here, take the right path. This is near where we climbed up via the um, cargo Another mine, answer. cargo cart thing that we pushed. Broken. You come through here and you lift that broken rock out of the way. And you come to this lever, pull this down to open the gate. You don't have to lobby axe at anything once you've opened it. It is open. Yeah, it's pretty magical. That one stays open by itself. Kick this chain down and then you can climb down here. Go back and um, push this over there. There's quite a lot of stuff in here which we can't do yet. So if you're, if you're being very observant and you're seeing things and thinking, what do we do with this? You can't do anything with it now, which is why we're not. We come back in here later when I've got more, we've got more um, abilities and stuff, so we can 100% it all at once. So when you climb up here, you uh, jump across over to this platform, knock the hack silver down, and then loot this legendary chest. When you're pushing that cargo cart, don't push it too far, because otherwise it will be too far and won't be in line. You need to make sure you push it in line with this platform so you can jump over to it. So there's a runic in there, we're not going to equip it because it's got too long cooldown. And then once we looted the legendary chest, we're going to come over here and we're just going to lift up this little tiny rock. That's it, lift it a little bit more. Come on, it's only a tiny rock. Hee ho, yes. We did that one. Now we're going to drop down after. And we're going to be ambushed by a big motherfucking orc. Look at him. I think he, <laughs> I think he dies without getting a chance to attack even once. That's it. Send the dog after him. Oh, bless him. Didn't even get a chance to attack. I'm on easy. But that's not the point. There's an epic boss on this level actually, nearer, nearer, nearer to the end, there's an epic boss on this chapter. 
Yeah, so he drops a frozen flame, that guy. The auger. And he drops the river of knives runic attack. Yeah, but after beating him, get rid of the other enemies. And then make sure you loot everything that that boss drops. Loot it all. Remember, if you, for some reason, forget to pick some up and you miss it, it should, anything important, just appear in the shop for you to collect, by the way. Yeah, so we've got that runic now. Yeah, I'm not going to equip it. And um, because we've got our frozen flame from that uh, mini boss as well, we're going to head back to Brock now. And I'm going to upgrade our Leviathan axe. And then once you've done that, we're going to head back to the cargo cart. And we're going to push it a bit closer to the big pit in the middle. Yeah, just get to this now and push it all the way, all the way over until you can't push it no more. Yeah, a bit of a puzzle in this area. I think I was stuck here for absolutely ages when I first did this. Because I don't think I even realised. I think I completely forgot about the cart. Because you think the cart is just for... Um, yeah, once you push that cart all the way, pull this down and it should come and clamp the cart. And then you freeze it in place, jump on the little... Um, cargo cart and then you jump on and uh, pull your axe back to go flying into the sky. Yeah, I think when I first did this I didn't realise you could push this cart so far. I thought it's just used to jump onto that platform yeah, it, and it could have took me absolutely ages to work this out. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. The amount of, a lot of games are so simple but the amount of time you spend when you first play it blind, wow. <laughs> it was strange up there. We're heading into danger. No, but um, if there's a guy such as this, I would follow it. Is, Problem is, there is not many guys like this, yes, and that's why I like to make it myself. To fill that void, some I don't have, I'd wish others have the ability to use this if they want to, like an optimal route to platinum. Uh, so once you get off it, there'll be a little cutscene. Obviously, I'm skipping it. And then we're going to turn around after and just to the left of where the um, makeshift elevator is. Stay There's back. a small chest. Stay back, boy! There's a chest here. You might hurt yourself. <laughs> you might hurt himself. You might get a splinter. Yes, yeah, the hack silver just to the left of the slope. <laughs> Stay back. You might get a splinter. Yeah, send him through the tunnel. I was going to make our way past his flames. I'm just jumping through it so we're on easy. Um, so I don't need, <laughs> need to bother waiting. Once you get up here, you can, if you keep right, keep looking right, and you come to a ledge, eventually you can climb up, and there'll be some hack silver inside. You'll find a corpse with some hack silver near him. And if you move further along a bit more, you find two enemies on top of two little, um, sort of, um, tall stones. And get rid of them, and once you get a chance, quickly pull down this wheel. You need to make sure you're in between, obviously, the fire, the fire spray. And you give yourself time to use it because otherwise normally they will interrupt you. And once you load that, you can loot this coffin and get the plated pauldrus of focus. The bluey ones. And you, act you can actually attach an enchantment to this, guys. If you've not attached an enchantment before, this will be the first time doing it. And it will also pop the trophy, enchanted. And that's for, yeah, slot an enchantment into your armour. Come over here afterwards and first push one large rock off the lift. And before you push a second rock, first just jump off where it comes to a rest. Grab the hack silver and loot the small chest. And then back on the lift and now push the other rock off. Now we've got a long we've got a long sort of um Elevator sequence now, uh, where you got loads, you got a few waves of enemies that spawn, and a sort of mini boss at the end of it. We will see when we get there. Until then. I yeah. So this part goes on for about five minutes. Just the lift. It's a long elevator ride. Very, very long. 
Atreus. I'm fine. Just left my balance for a moment. You know. In between the waves, sometimes you will have to interact with the wall where you get and stuck and push yourself off the wall. I guess. Not a terribly fun so if you do get stuck on the elevator and thinking, what go <laughs> what's happening now? I'm just stuck. Am I supposed to jump somewhere? It's because you have to go and interact with the wall where you're stuck and uh, kick the lift free. Yeah, get rid of the enemies quickly. If any enemies loot anything, uh, sorry, drop anything, make sure you loot it before you um, kick the lift free. Because sometimes any loot they drop will roll off. Yeah, I had it happen here with the mini boss. I thought, I thought I'm going to loot him when the lift is going up, save like, <laughs> save like two seconds. But then everything just rolled off, so I had to reload. Yeah, so each time you get stuck, that's normally when the enemies spawn in. Sometimes the platform, you can see the ledge they jump from them. Sometimes the ledge nearby, sometimes one or two of the enemies will stop up there and shoot um, arrows at you. So um, just watch for them. Yeah, some there'll be one or two enemies that might not jump down. They'll just stand there lobbing arrows at you. Was that for fun? Right, time to kick free again. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. We were stuck, not anymore. So in a minute, the mini boss is going to spawn, and just before the mini boss, no. there will be a little yeah, tiny cut. Definitely. It wasn't a big problem, but um, what happened yes. is, as ready. I said. I killed the mini boss and I didn't collect the items to drop because I thought I collected them when the lift starts going up and then when I kicked the lift away they rolled off. So when I reloaded it actually put me right down, uh, right next to where the mini boss spawns. So he's going to jump down in a second, you can hear his heavy footsteps, no. There he is. I said just destroy him. I think if you knock him, I think if you knock him off, that um, the items I drop do jump to the platform you want, and they die by um, fall, you know, falling to the death. But if, if you ever kill a mini boss, and for some reason their loot disappears or it glitches out, or maybe they do fall off, and there's perhaps a certain instance where if they fall off, their loot disappears. Make sure you reload the safe because there's some items, materials which are pretty rare. And I kill a certain amount of mini bosses along the way because some of them are optional. They, you know, they're not along the route. They're sort of um, you get them via optional exploration. Yeah, there's a few mini bosses like that where we don't have to kill, but I kill them because we need the materials in order to craft stuff related to trophies. Yeah, so um, if I kill a mini boss and loot it, make sure you get the same loot. If not, uh, reload the checkpoint if any of it glitches out or doesn't drop for some reason. After we scattered ashes. Most of the um, common materials you have plenty of, you have more than it enough. But it, it, when it comes to the rare things, um, I think it does get quite Game close. For now, but we will have much to do. So that's you all the enemies done. Next is going to be. A winged creature. Changed, and it has, and our home is no yes, a winged creature. Creature, I mean a duck. Going to be attacked by a duck. A winged creature could mean many things. Okay. Have you met a giant duck before? Fucking hell, they're lethal. Absolutely lethal. Yeah, so it'll be a little cutscene. You can't skip this. It's all sort of scripted. Almost at the summit, we've almost climbed the mountain from the interior. Oh, it's a dragon! It's not a duck. It's a dragon with a real bad case of tooth decay. But we'll sort that out in a bit later. Yeah, so just tickle his fingers when he puts his hands on the um, lift. Just tickle them. There you go. Give him a good scratch. Obviously dodge that way if you can. Once you dealt enough damage, this will happen. He'll get pretty angry and lobby away. 
And then he's going to jump and he's going to hang from the lift. Is he hanging from the lift or is he still grabbing us? Oh, he's grabbing on the wall. Yeah, this is a dragon. He doesn't have fire breath. He has yellow breath. Electro breath. Look at that. Impaled by an elevator. That's embarrassing. Oh, thank you. He opened the door for us. Right, you ready, boy? Hold on tight. Hold on to my pants. Hold on to my... um. Waist armor. All good. Well, we get new. Well, we get. Yeah, we get a new ability here. Shortly. Yeah, watch out for them. They're bomb crystals, basically. Pick one of them. Um, pick one of them up, and you turn into bomber man for a short time. Yeah, shatter crystal. You lob them at the red crystal, and it detonates them. Yeah, when red meets red. You get a, I can't believe we fought a dragon. pretty explosive reaction. Come over here. Don't put Atreus down. He'll lose his foot in, as you just said. Make sure he's on your back. Boy, That's it. Get this shadow crystal, lob it at the red stuff further on, and it will detonate and explode into a red mess. Carry on forward through the cave. That's it. Can you hear that? Something's there. Yeah, once you get outside, you'll find the um, little shopkeeper in distress, but no fear will rescue him. Yeah, so I'll skip the cutscene. This is a pretty epic boss fight I mentioned earlier. This big dragon. What happened to its wings? Does it not have. They're all like. It doesn't even have wings. Look at this. Ran on. Jumped onto its back. Ran up to its head. I'm just going to hack him with the axe now. Right, yeah, suck me in. Right, let's give him a get, let's let's give him a dental checkup. Right, front tooth A. Yeah, you need root canal treatment on that one definitely. You got a bit of um, DK building up around the outside, on the upper mouth. You got quite a bit of DK growing on your front tooth. So yeah, definitely get that checked out, mate. We'll have to resume that dental checkup later. Right, so this fight, you have to basically wait for him to um, use this electric attack. Wait till he's sort of in, he's got electric around his body, and then lob a shadow crystal at him because that would detonate it. Yeah, but be careful because where he's standing still, sometimes he does summon electric. So it's best to alternate between crystals. There's normally two crystal spots. Get one, and then the next time get the other one. And once you knocked him down, you have to come and attack his weak spot on top of his head. That's where he had a bit of dental treatment. Uh, they had to, to take the tooth out. They had to go in from the top. They had to make a um, uh, topwards insertion to reach it. It's quite a big route. It was. I think that's a problem. He's pissed off because um, he's still got toothache. When he puts his hands down, you can attack him like so. When he rams both his hands down at once and he does a sort of wave the the um the energy wave beam at you just block that you don't roll it looks like you you want to roll through it it looks like you want to roll but you don't you have to block it and i think your son does make a point of blocking it or someone does i'm sure somebody mentions to block that um, but yeah basically just dodges attacks when he puts his hand down attack it when he holds his hand in place for a long period of time, yeah, go and attack it. Wait for him to um, become electrified and then lob a shatter crystal at him. And then once his head falls down, attack his weak point. Like so. And like I say, don't stay in one place for too long. Always try and alternate between the shatter crystals if you can. Yeah, it's a little bit at his head. Doesn't have to be in his mouth. Just at his head anywhere. And then back up to again and uh, spam his weak point. Yeah, once you've done so much damage, Atreus will join in a little tiny bit. And uh, give you a plan. Boy, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I have a plan. 
I'm fine. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just watching. I do not care. I do not care. I have a plan. Yeah, so our plan. You'll see in a second. Yeah, so just keep carrying on. After the plan has been teased, but it's not been revealed yet. Yeah, let's carry on. Grab a shark crystal. When he fires a um, electrical breath beam, get ready to lob a shark crystal at him. I think you'll need to get him down to um, one or two bars, and then you can finish him off. There you go, knocked him down. That's going to attack his weak spot again. Right, and you'll see the square prompt. You see the square prompt at the top of the screen. Make sure you look out for that. And then obviously press square once you see it. If it says square, that means you don't press circle, you press square. Yeah, I had to do a bit of trial and error there to work it out. First, I used to, I used to press circle first, then I tried triangle. And then I was going to do square and then X, but when I did square, square worked. So um, third time did the charm in um, getting that square prompt right. And that finishes him off. Pretty epic finish. Look at this. All right, he's just showing off now. And uh, thank you for coming to Kratos Dental Services. Wow. We did it, I mean I did it. Right, let's take out that bad tooth. It's this one here. Watch where you grab the oh, uh, never mind. There you go. Yeah, if you don't pay your if you don't pay your um, dental oh, bills, this is what <laughs> this is what will happen. Perfect. When you don't pay we take the treatment back. Yeah. Oh, I am not it's just a tooth, mate. It's not gonna bite. Right, I've got a new ability now, shock arrows. Right, Atreus. Yeah, that's right, good boy. Pull the arrow in there, pull it back, and uh, shoot the shatter bomb. That's it, yeah, basically, shoot. We can, uh, sorry, not shoot. Yeah, we can, sh well, we can shoot sh uh, shatter crystals and detonate them. Uh, you come through here, shoot this one on the legendary chest. We win because we are determined. Discipline. We are determined. Discipline. Because we feel and in there, you f get Tears Revenge. Yeah, we've still got Hell's Touch equipped. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes. How would you, <laughs> how would he know what it feels like to be strong? Yeah, so keep climbing up here. And, um... Yeah, we're not done yet. Still a few more collectibles and enemies to kill. Yeah, so once you're here, just get rid of the enemies first. And um, get that chest back along there where I just jumped across, back on yourself. Yeah, get that chest there. And then raise this to the top. And once it's up there, you're gonna have to try to shoot it. With a shock, a uh, shock arrow, and that will detonate the um, red crystal on the on the left. Make that rock fall down. A few more enemies will spawn. Take them out. That's it. Lovely action, their eyes. And behind where that thing was, we just raised is a artifact. Yeah, so make sure you grab that artifact. That's bottoms up. Uh, three out of six. Then you can jump onto that rock you've made fall down and climb up here. This area now, this is sort of the last area we sort of get anything from. There is a collectible right near the end, but this is the sort of last main area with, with you know, with a large bunch of collectibles inside. So just get rid of these guys. Remember, if you can't if you can't damage any of these with your axe, then you need to switch to um, unarmed by pressing right on the D-pad. Or lobbing your axe and uh, leaving it buried in, in something. Yeah, once you've got rid of them, just continue on along the path. And you get to this sort of open area. Get rid of these enemies. Yeah, or just fucking scream like that and uh, knock them in the air. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we'll grab the shark crystal once they're dead. And left the Norna chest, that red crystal we passed. Love the red crystal at them, the shark crystal, sorry. And then have a tray shoot it to detonate it. Get this jot in a shrine behind. Look here, another. Translate that for me, boy. And then just write the jot in a shrine up above on the wall. It's a seal for a Norna chest. These swans don't deactivate. Once you hit it, that's it. It's um it's been hit. So hit that seal and then come back over here. Grab the shark crystal, lob it at that top bit of the um, platform above. Detonate that and then knock the bridge down. Come over here, bring another shark crystal with you and lob it there to free the law marker. Get rid of the enemies. And once they're dead, get boy to read it. Boy, read now. Over here, just left of the bridge, the main bridge in the middle, there's a seal sort of in the wall. What I just uh, smashed, make sure you get that. This wheel, lower it all the way down and then lob an axe at it to freeze it in place and then you can climb up to the top. You get this um, artifact at the top of the bridge and then open this coffin and a item will jump out. Uh, sorry, an enemy will jump out. So defeat him and then grab what he drops. That happens in a chest sometimes. Uh, sometimes a, um, a enemy will jump out of a co uh, coffin, just kill the enemy to get what he drops. And at the top as well there was a seal. Did you see me get it? It was pretty quick, but it was a seal at the top as well. And then drop down and loot the Norna chest. And yeah, make sure you got everything guys. If you think you may have missed them, I think I did go a bit too. Quick in that part, just um, check my text guide. We got a. Um, Not long now. There's a. When we first came in here, them three um, blue enemies, one of them drops uh, some a good a bunch of hack silver and a etched enchantment, perhaps. And obviously, we've got the Jotna Shrine, we've got the Law Marker, we've got the Coffin, and we've got the Norna Chest. And that's when we left. So we got here, opened the door, and we're at the summit now. So as we make our way along the top of the mountain here, there's going to be a few enemies. We're just going to kick them off because it just it's cool to kick enemies off cliffs. So I do it. And just before we um, climb the wall at the end, there's one more artifact, last collectible on this chapter. Yeah, I'm just going to kick them off because I can. Yeah, so to kick... Um, you've got to make sure you're unarmed and then you just press triangle. I feel like death by um, falling is um, it's worse for them. The meat's killing them instantly with my blade. I think it's better death for them to fall. There's no way they can survive that. Yeah, just keep kicking them off. Get the hack silver. Yeah, just when you reach this wall at the end, go left, and you find the artifact tucked in here. There you go, near the knight, the fallen knight. Yeah, get that artifact, guys, and that's it, collectible wise. And then we're going to climb up here, all the way around, and eventually it will lead us. To um, some NPCs, Boulder. And this will be the end of the chapter, guys. Yeah, and this is where the next chapter begins. The next chapter is really, really short, actually. Only like 15 minutes. Over yourselves to impress Daddy. The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. The tattooed man. Yeah, that's my name, I guess. I guess it's probably that um, red mark and all over my body gives it away. Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are. Yeah, it's quite the predicament we're in. Yeah, they weren't let me <laughs> they weren't let you go let you kill me. and they're not allowed Nothing to kill to you. <laughs> take your questions. Take your threats. Take these two worthless wankers. It's a lot to risk your life it's a lot to risk your life on, isn't it? The word that somebody said you're not allowed to kill him. We'll be back for your other I don't think I'd risk it, because you never know if somebody might defy that order and uh, rip out the knife and slit your throat, you never know. So I don't think I would rely on that, the word of an old man, that they would keep their word. 
But um, yeah, you'll see what happened to him. He lost his body, bless him. Ah, the very topic of conversation. Yeah, that is it, guys. The end of that chapter. Yeah, so um, inside the mountain is complete. Yeah, I guess on the next part we will complete a new destination, which doesn't take long, like I say. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.